Once upon a time, in the magical era of the 1990s, there existed an epic frenzy for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was like a wild, crazy mania that swept through every kid's heart. But it wasn't just because of their vibrant, rainbow-colored outfits. No siree. There were plenty of individual reasons why this show rocked our socks off. Some boys aspired to lead like the Red Ranger, while the girls yearned to be as cool as the Pink Ranger. You could be a martial arts master or a valley girl. But there was one ranger who captured the hearts of every single kid out there. The mighty Green Ranger, played by the legendary Jason David Frank. Jason David Frank's portrayal of Tommy Oliver, a.k.a. the Green Ranger, took the show to levels of extreme awesomeness. At first, he was a brainwashed teenager with the repulsive task of destroying the Power Rangers. But after breaking free from the spell, he quickly became the coolest member of the team, winning over fans left and right. The show soared to incredible heights of popularity. But alas, the folks at Saban Entertainment knew that the Green Ranger couldn't stay forever. You see, Power Rangers Mighty Morphin borrowed footage from the Japanese Super Sentai series, specifically Kyoryu Sentai Zuranger, where the Green Ranger met an untimely demise. Yeah, the poor guy was six feet under, so they couldn't do much with that. They needed to find a way to keep the Green Ranger around, at least sometimes, to lend a helping hand in the fights. So what if Tommy couldn't be there 24-7? The story had a clever reason for all this. Tommy simply couldn't hold on to his Green Ranger powers indefinitely, and thus they introduced the infamous Green Candle. This candle had an expiration date, and when it burned out, Tommy would lose his powers. Zordon, their wise mentor, gave Tommy some temporary power to buy some time. But truth be told, they were running out of excuses. Tommy had a flimsy, chunky shield that looked like it could crumble any second. They couldn't hide the fact that they were running low on Green Ranger footage. Originally, Tommy was supposed to take a hike and find a new purpose, while a fresh-faced actor stepped in as the brand-new White Ranger. That's right, a whole new character played by Brad Hawkins. Remember that name, folks? It'll come in handy later. But what about our dear Jason David Frank? Where was he off to? Well, he was headed for New Horizons, my friends, in the form of a pilot for a spin-off series that nobody had ever heard of. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Cybertron. And no, we're not talking about the planet of the Decepticons from Transformers. Although, hey, more than meets the eye could totally apply here too. Cybertron was a thrilling new action series packed with jaw-dropping martial arts excitement. Now, before we move forward, here's a fun little question for you. If you had your own superhero name, what would it be? Seriously, why did Saban choose Cybertron when they had a gazillion other options? Let me know in the comments below, and if we hit 1,500 likes, I promise to make more videos like this one. Power Rangers fans, unite! So, as Power Rangers was raking in the success, the show's creator Haim Saban wanted lightning to strike twice. He aimed to create another series featuring American actors and footage from another Japanese action series. This time, it was a Metal Hero series, different from Super Sentai. But guess what? Our buddy Jason David Frank was right on board. He was all set to play a character named Adam Steele, who would transform into the super cool Cybertron. Man and Machine United, ready to take on all kinds of evil. Sounds pretty rad, right? Now the Cybertron pilot episode was completed, showcasing Jason's epic transformation and his epic clashes with the villain Cyrus Richter. This guy Cyrus, let me tell you, he wasn't your average villain. He was extra crispy, a villain with a flaming personality. And of course, every hero needs a sidekick or two. So they introduced Mia and Elmo as Adam's trusty companions. But wait, there's more. They also had a robot buddy named Scuzzy. Picture a small, sassy robot with attitude, cracking jokes left and right. That's Scuzzy for you, the ultimate scene stealer. Now, before we get too excited about this Cybertron extravaganza, it's time for a sad twist. Despite all the effort put into the pilot, the overwhelming popularity of Jason David Frank's Green Ranger couldn't be ignored. The fans demanded his return and Saban Entertainment listened. They couldn't just let Tommy go, so they scrapped the Cybertron plans, leaving poor Brad Hawkins in the lurch. But don't worry, Brad, you ended up finding your way to another show called VR Troopers. Not too shabby, right? The name Cybertron got swapped out for VR Troopers, and the concept morphed into something completely different. 